Hello, welcome to this online learning session, CPD, related to successfully flipping learning to make it electronic. And a little bit about myself, I'm Helen Scanlon, I work for NCFE as a curriculum officer. Um, that's my photo, just so you can put a face to the voice. I've worked in education since 1992. I've been a vocational teacher uh, for a private training pro provider. I've worked for a charitable organisation with foundation learners, maths, English and IT and SEN needs. I've worked in a large FE college. I was maths and English lecturer. Um, and since 2006, I've been a teacher trainer. Um, I teach across all the taught across all the generic and specialist programs from level three TACWA to level seven PGCE, specifically in English and maths teaching. I've worked along, alongside Ofsted inspectors, carrying out a, a full inspection and a monitoring visit. Uh, I've also worked as an external contractor, as a paper writer and an external quality assurance um, person. Uh, and uh, I've, I've also had a number of secondments to quality improvement roles, um, specialised diplomas in schools, um, etc, etc. Um, I'm going to share the objectives for this online session. It should last between five and ten minutes, depending on how fast I talk. Um, I want to... I want us to explore the features of online learning, identify your individual development needs, analyse the characteristics of what's good practice for online teaching, but also share some sources of support for you guys. Uh, the, the way it's going to work, it's been designed to demonstrate some useful hints, hints and tips. Um, it would be probably useful if you had pen and paper at hand to make notes. So if you don't have pen and paper, it might be a good idea just to quickly pause this now. Um, I am going to be asking some questions. It's not just me telling you what is, is deemed good practice. Um, so as I say, pause it now if you don't have pen and paper at hand. Hopefully I have pen and paper. Um, now every time you see text in that colour green, um, please pause. Review what the question says, taking some time to answer the question or complete the task. This is, I say, not me just telling you. And you'll also find some links to resources on the website, which will be useful. Um, but please be reassured, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. Some of the content that you'll see in this PowerPoint and this presentation, you'll already know. Um, and hopefully it'll just reinforce that what you're doing is good. So the first question I'd like to ask you is, what is online and learning? What is your definition? So. Either pause it now for a second and add the, add, answer that question, or just make some notes on what you perceive online learning is. Uh, please check what you decided uh, was the answer to that question to these. Obviously, it's referred to as e-learning, anything that takes place over the internet. It's distance, it's not in the classroom with the teacher, um, but it's structured that the students don't actually attend the classroom in person, they attend it at home, in the library, wherever. Um, and this is where they, where your learners or students are accessing this learning is really important to consider. So best practice in the classroom, we know what that is. How does that turn into online learning? How does that impact what we do electronically or distance learning? Please just take a moment to pause it and answer that question. Okay, so it still needs to have a range of activities, um, teacher planned um, by the subject specialist. Uh, it needs to have some kind of structure. Um, this is my Ofsted experience talking now, linking previous and future learning and developing the learners and students skills and knowledge in a um, developmental way. Um, and you're not just telling them what they should be doing, you should still try and encourage this active learning. Um, and planning activities and checks of the progress through it and then that lovely word differentiation comes in try and consider support and extension activities um, for the sessions that you do but please don't panic and um, this is brand new to most teachers um, we've used VLEs for quite a long time we're getting you know we're totally used to using VLEs but um, we need to think about how the learning in the classroom changes when it's online so First question in green, what are the barriers and concerns that you have about delivering online learning? And please pause and answer that question. 
Once you've done that, have a look at what you said and how could you overcome them? Who could help you? Who could support you? Whose experience or knowledge could you draw from to help you out? Pause it again, answer that question, please. Okay, then your next question is, what's the difference between face-to-face -face and online learning? Uh, have a think about, you're in the classroom with your students. What's the difference between being in the classroom and taking it electronically? Please pause and answer that question. Okay, so here, here are our thoughts. The teacher's not there, but the teacher's presence should still be there. It doesn't matter if it's recorded or live. You engage your learners well with your personality and your enthusiasm, so please show it. Obviously, you're not there to support or guide or refocus necessarily in real time, so think about how you might need to structure some support in there. You need to be comfortable with the platform or programs that you're going to use. Um, this is probably about the fifth time I've tried to record this, so please don't worry about revisiting things um, and doing them again. Get yourself used to what, you, used to what you're using. Um, teacher needs to be prepared, students need to be prepared. Um, so how you prepare your students, think about how you're going to do that before sessions. And it might be very difficult to grab your students' attention, so use your enthusiasm to motivate your students. So a possible structure, you would have your, maybe your title and everything about the session. Uh, a starter activity, just, just as you would in a classroom, um, have some kind of initial assessment activity so the students can see where they're at. Input and guidance, so think about structuring the session just as you would face to face, but uh, the, the activities might be slightly differently set up and tested. You need to assess progress and signpost to other activities and support. And then have a review at the end with a recap but also link to the next session, sell your next session to them as well, it might help get them there. But obviously don't trust your students to work um, without you setting them things to do during and at the end, get them used to, to doing things in the session. Still share your learning outcomes or objectives, let your students know what they expect. But don't plan too generically, plan for the people that you're actually gonna be teaching. And just as students learn, don't learn by doing, um, being told by the teacher what they need to know um, you need to create activities where the learners will um, develop their skills and knowledge just like you would in the classroom. Their levels of meta-learning, their, their understanding of where they're at and how they learn and what stops them learning is also important so you might even need to do a session on how to access an e-learning session from yourself their learning styles, motivations, confidence levels, and everything else where they're going to be doing this learning is really important to remember and to take into consideration. But have some fun, add some humour, add some surprises. If you're doing a PowerPoint or something electronically, use animation. Um, you can make it fun, um, but do it accordingly. Keeps, remain, remain professional. So we've got some useful links and websites. I think the whole world knows that at the moment we're going online learning. So there's lots of guidance and support there for you. It, it's nothing new. It's nothing that you won't already know. You'll read and say, well, yeah, um, but maybe you just need a, a quick reminder. Um, NCFE centres have the Qual Hub and all the uh, resources um, and support activities online. So look, look to your warden body um, to get some help and guidance and assistance as well. Um, Thank you very much for, for listening to my session today. Uh, the last question is I would like you to take one thing. What would you what's one thing you could take away from this last 10 minutes or so? Um, and please share this with your colleagues, talk to your colleagues, get support from each other, um, and good luck with your online learning. Thanks ever so much for taking the time to uh, listen to this and view it. Um, best of luck for your future learning. Thanks now, bye. Thank you.